I've had a few people message me recently asking how much it costs to build my chopper. Uh, I made this video about a year ago, but it's still uh, relevant, so I thought I would just uh, put it back up so that people can see it. Um, and yeah, it's not really like one of my the videos I'm making now. A normal service of them will resume soon, but I just wanted to uh, put this out so it would uh, help answer questions people have been asking me. All right, cheers. Right, so if you're watching this, you want to know how much it costs to build a chopper, or you're just going to be nosy and just see if I'm talking bullshit and slag me off. In this video, yeah, I'm going to give you an honest evaluation of how much it costs to build a chopper. So yeah, you can have, you can chop any motorcycle, okay? But this is just off of the experience I've had with my bike. Because I'm in the UK, and if you're in the UK, it's probably worth taking into consideration before you start looking at bikes. Maybe get a motorcycle old enough if you're gonna chop it, that is MOT and tax exempt. And we just let the imagination do its thing there, okay? Right. Okay, so first of all, you've got to find a donor bike. My bike I found in the States and got it imported and then had to register it. But if, you're, if you've got a bike in this country that you're gonna get, obviously, that's your starting price. So whatever it is, a grand, two grand, three grand, four grand. So that's, so that's where you start at. So I did it as cheap as I could just to turn the bike from what it was into what it is now, a chopper. So the front end ends the same, the motor's the same, the carb's the same, same transmission, same rear wheel, um, but apart from that, most of it's new. So the parts list, how much the parts costs, is gonna be sort of similar for most bikes. Obviously you can go to town and do what you like with the bike, but um, for, this, for this instance, we're just gonna use my bike. You got your donor bike, and then the parts is gonna cost you around about four grand, I'm thinking. If, you, if you're sort of like properly chopping the bike, cutting the bike in half, hardtailing it, yeah, you're gonna be looking at about four grand. Go! You, might be, you might be sitting there thinking, well, I love the idea of having a chopper, but I can't weld, I'm not confident enough doing the work myself. I'm gonna find someone else to build the bike for me. Whatever your cost is for the parts, you should, the labor is gonna be that again, plus probably another couple of grand. Okay, depending on who's doing it and what you're having done. Something to quickly add to this video as well, I'm not taking into consideration the actual spraying and painting of the bike, because uh, you could rattle can it or get it done professionally. Um, so the cost would vary loads on that. So if you're rattle canning it, it's gonna be very cheap. So yeah, haven't taken that, taken that into consideration in this video. So in summary, your chopper's gonna cost your donor bike four grand in parts, and then if that, and if you're doing the build yourself, that's how much it's going to cost, and a load of swearing. Or if you're getting it, or if you're going to get someone to build it, it's your donor bike, four grand in parts, and then between four thousand and six grand, and someone building it. I hope that makes sense. Um, I'm going to make uh, another video. If you are considering having a chopper, I'm going to make a video soon of what it's like living with a chopper. I'll go into details, like the good, the bad. One thing I would leave you with, if you are seriously considering having a chopper, you're gonna have to do work on it yourself, okay? They they need they, they need love. You've gotta look after them, you've gotta do stuff to them. Take that into consideration. But thank you for watching this video. Come along for the ride, like and bloody subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching again.